What is data governance? And why is it important to a successful statewide longitudinal data system? Data governance is the means by which an organization or a group of organizations makes decisions about the information it collects, stores, and uses. Data governance improves data quality, protects data privacy, and promotes effective data use. What are the components of data governance? A data governance program has four key components, purpose, structure, operations, and policies and processes. Establishing the purpose codifies what data will be governed and the intended outcomes of data governance for members and stakeholders. Outcomes might include policies and processes for governing data, improving data quality and increasing stakeholders' trust in data, and increasing data use to support the organization's or state's strategic priorities. The structure component includes establishing the roles, responsibilities, and relationships among data governance groups. A clear structure explains how everyone contributes to data governance. It also fosters collaboration and identifies who makes different kinds of decisions. The data governance structure should include at least two groups. An executive leadership level group helps ensure that the program has the organizational authority and resources required to be sustained. A management level group oversees establishing and implementing data policies and processes to improve data quality and use. The third component is data governance operations, which define how data governance work will be executed. Operations include each data governance group's decision-making process and how they escalate and resolve issues. Lastly, policies and processes describe how to manage data purposefully and consistently. They often cover topics like data collections, data access, data requests, and data release. What happens without effective data governance? Organizations without data governance programs face numerous risks. For example, decisions about data definitions may be made by people unfamiliar with policy or program requirements, making the data less useful to stakeholders. An absence of data governance may also cause multiple programs or agencies to collect and release similar data, which can increase staff burden and produce inconsistent information. Measures such as post-secondary enrollment may be reported differently, leading users to doubt whether the information is trustworthy. One of the biggest risks is a data breach, where data are released without adequate privacy protections. If a data breach happens, the organization can face litigation legislative inquiries, and the loss of public trust. Data governance addresses these and other risks by setting appropriate data definitions and access rules, improving data quality, and protecting data privacy. How do you get started with data governance? First, establish a data governance charter or policy that defines the purpose of the data governance program. The charter describes the scope of data to be governed and the groups and roles that will participate. Have your executive leaders approve the charter. Next, establish the data governance groups and identify who will be involved in them. Designate a data governance coordinator with the authority to set priorities, coordinate with the groups and representatives, and ensure that the work continues over time. Then, identify and begin addressing high priority data quality issues and the policies and processes needed for managing data. This will show stakeholders the value of data governance. Check out the SLDS Data Governance Toolkit for helpful templates, examples, and guidance for setting up and sustaining a data governance program.